subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wase here and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can update your mac os on your virtual box or your virtual machine so let's begin the video so first of all i'm going to run virtual box so here i currently have mac os catalina so i'm going to first of all start the machine so here the machine is starting up I'm going to enter my password and log in. So here you can see I'm running Mac OS Catalina. I'm just simply going to do is that on the top left side, you got your Apple logo. You're going to press on it. Here it says about this Mac. You're going to press on that. So here you can see I have Mac OS Catalina version 10.5 15.3. So here you're going to press on software update to check if any new Mac OS is available or not and you can see that mac os big Sur is available which is around 12.21 gb so we're going to press on upgrade now in order to install or update the mac os on our virtual machine so here uh, you can see that the download has started this download speed will depend on your internet connection and it will take some hours or some minutes again depending on your internet connection and the other thing you need to make sure that your virtual machine hard drive or your virtual machine storage has enough space to accommodate this 12 GB update and after that the installation space as well. So it's going to take some time to download so I'm just going to fast forward to the point till it is completely downloaded. So once the download is complete you're going to have this big box saying install Mac OS Big Sur. So you're going to press on the continue button. First of all, you need to agree the terms and conditions. Agree. Now you're going to select your virtual disk. In my case, its name is untitled. Here you're going to enter the password or to unlock that particular virtual machine. Okay. And now it's going to install Mac OS Big Sur in our Mac OS, which is in our virtual machine. So again, this is going to take some time. So I'm just simply going to fast forward the video from here. So after that previous loading bar, you will automatically see that the virtual machine will restart itself and you're going to have this Apple logo with its loading bar and you're going to have some time written below it. So this will process will again take some time depending on the speed of your and the hard uh, hardware available for your virtual machine. So in my case, it took around 40 minutes or so. After the loading bar, your virtual machine will restart itself and you're going to start having this text floating around, which typically means that yeah, the Mac OS has been installed successfully and now your Mac OS is booting up for the first time with the new OS. So it's not going to take too much long, but again, this loading bar will mainly depend on your hardware and this will happen only once when you're upgrading your Mac OS. After that, it won't take that much long. So here I'm just simply going to enter the lock screen password for this virtual Mac machine. So after that, you can see that the desktop is whole completely black and it's saying checking for updates. But on the top right side, you can see that performance may be affected until completed, meaning that since we have just uh, made a fresh update, so it's going to take some time to show all the things. So we just need to wait until all the things have been shown. So for now, it's just checking for updates, whether if a new update is available or not. So after waiting for around 10 to 15 minutes, the black screen went off by itself and we got this background and all the Mac OS features and things are now available as you can see. So I'm just simply opening Safari to show you that everything is working on this new updated virtual Mac so yeah and if i music uh, open the music app as well it's going to open itself and if i again go to uh, the settings of mac you can see that the mac os big sur has been successfully uh, installed whereas in the previous we had mac os catalina so we have successfully updated our mac os on virtual box or on any virtual machine so that's how you can do it. So now I'm just simply going to save the machine state and I'm just simply going to close it. So that's all for this video guys. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any kind of questions regarding this video, write them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. 
I have already made a video on how you can install Mac OS Catalina on your virtual machine or on virtual box uh, the box will be appearing right on the screen and its link will also be just below the like button other than that thank you for watching and stay safe